Good morning, St. Lucia. Welcome to day six on the trip, day five on the ship. excursion but not with the boat we went outside to the port area and we spoke to this guy named Howard and we're going on this tour over here so it's gonna go gonna stop at this beach here you can snorkel it's gonna go all the way along the coast to here which is called Sucre yeah, so and that's where the pittens are and beaches and stuff like that he said it takes about half an hour to 40 minute boat ride and then we're gonna stop here uh, Dr. Doolittle was filmed here $60 a person to do this tour US, US $60 US and it takes about four hours he said so hopefully this is good we've been doing all just simple beach days so today we decided to see the island because when you come to St. Lucia you gotta see this here that's the most popular thing to see we're leaving at 10 30 it's Papa Boat Tours and I got my snorkeling gear I'm ready to go see some fish you come off the ship, you come through here, and you go out here. These guys can be a little pushy, trying to get you to go on their tours. The ship is right behind us there. We came to this area where they have the water taxis. We're just waiting for our ride. So this is the water taxi that we're taking. We have first Captain Howard. Okay, what we're doing, we're going straight down the coast. On the way back, we make the extra stops. Okay? Any questions you ask me, you ask Howard. Okay, if I don't know, I give you the best to keep the smells in the face, okay? <laughs> okay, those of you will be snorkeling. Anybody need fins? Right now, you stand out of the World Heritage Site called the Twin Peaks, the pitons, or the boobs of the island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they call it that. Yeah, I wonder. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why, young man? I'm not sure. I have to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we're too young for this. Yeah. I'm too young. <laughs> and they're like 750 meters high. Wow. wow. If you hike them, it takes you like two hours, two hours and a half hiking to the top. Depends on how fit you are. To the side, you can see our crystal clear. This yeah. is like 80 feet of water right there, man. Really? Like that. Wow. If you go down there, get me some sand, I give you your money back. <laughs> Very cool. And Shasne. The one all the way to the top is called Jade Mountain. Jade Mountain will cost you like $1,800 a night. To the brown one? Yeah. yeah. So we made it to this beach here. The hotel up there on the mountain is $1,800 a night. And we're using the beach here. You you can rent a, an umbrella and a chair, or you can just lay your beach mat or towel on the beach. He also said he's gonna go pick up food, $15 a person for some local food, so we're gonna have to try that. We got some chicken, and yeah, it's it's very nice here. So far, the tour is pretty good. It took about half an hour, Whoa, almost fell. <laughs> about half an hour to get here. You could snorkel over there, which I'll do soon, but we're gonna find a spot here on the beach. The black sand from the volcano. The water is crystal clear. I'm gonna go snorkeling in a second, but we're just taking a walk down to the end of the beach. Okay, so here, Right in front of the huts, we're gonna test out the water here and then go snorkeling over there. It looks super clear, soft sand. This is nice. Sand is hot. Hot, hot.
for lunch. So I'm gonna get out soon and get that and then come back here because it's so nice. They do give you uh, life jackets and snorkel stuff if you need. So he just came with the food. So he goes to pick it up. It took about 45 minutes. Rice, chicken, potatoes, beans. And they also give you uh, Coke or Sprite too. Yeah, you know, this is the best place to eat some food. What's this? I don't know, but it's tasty. Mm. Wow, very good. Wow. We have about half an hour. Two hours here, it goes by so fast. I just ate that food so fast, it was really good. But we're gonna try to go snorkeling one more time, and then there's a few more stops along the way, so the whole taxi tour is not finished just yet. But this is beautiful. So right here is the snorkeling. You can go down right in here, and I pretty much went right where those people are and stayed in this area. There's a lot to see, it's very cool. There's some nice rocks. Definitely recommend doing it if you come, even if you're scared. Do it. This is the view. One more time here. We're going back, but it's not over yet. There's a few more stops. One more view. And there's the taxi. That's him in the red? Oh. Apparently, Kevin Hart is on the beach over here. That's crazy, Zing. We didn't even know. We were right there under that tree. Yeah, we were right beside him. We didn't even know. This is the second stop of the day, Marigold Bay. They filmed Dr. Doolittle here, so let's take a look around. We got one hour here. I'm just gonna check it out quick. Crystal clear water here. Some rocks in the bottom though. The beach over there was a lot better, but it's also, uh, if you're gonna stay there, it's $1,800 a night or something like that. So, yeah, that's why Kevin Hart was there. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll stay. I'll have to add it to my list of places. I definitely recommend this tour. It was an awesome day. We're, we're just about to go back now. And you like this tour? I loved it. It was great. Shout great. out to Howard and Blanco. Yeah, they're the tour guides and they're awesome. It was a great day, so if you come here, definitely see them do this tour. 100% worth it. You get to see more of the island than just going to one beach. Marigold Bay. Okay, I like it. Let's go. He said this is his pet, Frank. <laughs> so nice here. Just showing you the surroundings here. We have a few minutes still. They filmed it right here? Yeah, part of the movie, part of the movie oh, that's where you will ruin the boat and you will start to hang in skeletons. Oh, right here. Yeah, right. Pirates of the Caribbean, right over here they come. Cool. I want to jump for you. Go, jump. Hey! Hey! Howard's famous. I tell everyone on YouTube to come see you guys. Okay, no problem, problem man. Everybody Check us out. My guys, no awesome, problem. awesome tour. Yeah. yeah, thank you. That tour was amazing, definitely worth it. Really happy we went with that. Those guys are really nice. They took the time uh, to, to explain stuff, you had questions, they even give you some drinks. They brought they, us food to the beach by boat. Forget Uber Eats. Uh, yeah, That's I think like he, he, he probably got his parents to make that and just gave them money or so something what? like that. It was, delicious. It, was, it was good, yeah, so that was boat Uber Eats over there, so I recommend it. I'm very happy we did it. Now we're going back on the ship. Welcome to the island, welcome to Santa Lucia, man. It's a pleasure Thank to you. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely would come back to St. Lucia. I'll add it to my list of things to do. And it's funny because it started off as a not so great day. We had, no, we, we had no idea what we were going to do today. We had a few beaches in mind, but then we kind of just went with this and everything worked out. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. That was awesome though. But look at this view. Incredible. The water here, so clear. 
I love it. Let's get back on this ship and grab something to eat. My go-to meal every day. On the beach, Kevin Hart was there. We were walking back and forth, and he was right there. I wasn't even paying attention. I was too focused on the beautiful view, but it would have been cool to say hi to him. Hi. You know what's even better than that? Burger. All right, cheese pizza and a buffalo chicken sandwich. We're leaving St. Lucia right now, just hanging out here for a sail away. The weather is perfect right now. St. Lucia was perfect. Today was perfect. Very fun day today. This is the view at sail away. I know what this looks like. We just ate before this cliff, but we went back to the room and we rested a bit and then we got ready. Was it two hours? About two hours. So now I'm ready to eat again. I know it looks like we just ate, but it was some time. Don't worry, don't worry. I know what everyone's gonna say. <laughs> Actually not that hungry, but I'm going to eat. <laughs> We're gonna watch the show right now. I think it's a love and marriage show. Usually that's pretty funny. I forgot to mention earlier, uh, the appetizers on the ship suck. <laughs> the the steak is not bad. It's okay. Uh, I'm so tired right now. That show was was pretty funny, but I was falling asleep there too. <laughs> I didn't talk about it anyway. Uh, thank you for watching another day. Tomorrow we're in Barbados. We should have another fun day tomorrow. I'll see you there. Good night.